else tired of paying huge amounts for gnome oil that comes in a small bottle? Me too. So there's been a lot of videos online about how to make gnome oil, and this is actually uh, the best way that I have found. Get yourself an old bottle of Fiji water because it has these nice tops on it that open up. And then uh, quick shine floor polish. And actually it's funny because this stuff does kind of the same thing as contrast paints do. Um, but I found it works really well for gnome oil in particular and um, and anything that is have like a brown color or a dark color to it. You can mix whatever you want in this stuff and it has pretty much the same effect. So what I did is I have some old inks laying around and I just kind of came up with a concoction. You can throw whatever you want into this thing and it'll give it whatever tint you'd like. Um, but for a base for the gnome oil, I actually use this P.H. Martin's. Um, this is the main color that I dump a ton of it in there. And then I kind of mix it up with, uh, like I said, older inks that I just got laying around to give it different tints. I dumped the P.H. Martins in there. That's about how much is I think I had in here last time. So like I said, that's the base color for uh, tinting this. And I'm going to dump in some blue. Just give it a little darker color and then I have some purple which I don't know might mix with the blue just about right and do a similar thing we'll see this is just some ink I've had laying around for a very long time as you can tell by the bottles so throw the purple in there and last but not least I'm going to darken it down a little bit Give it some brown. And then I will throw in the floor polish. I filled it up about that high. And uh, then you literally just kind of swirl it around and mix her up. And then give it a test go. Uh, this is pretty much the same formula I previously used though. And it had the effects that you would think. So after I spread it all on, this is what they look like. The tint is very similar to normal oil.